start with it. So before we start with this, let me just tell you a few things first. Uh, we have an, an inbuilt LED out here, right? So I'll not go ahead and connect anything for this. Let us just check this out first. So now, as this is a microcontroller, right? There's not just a LED and connecting to voice into it and turning on. There's a microcontroller. So whatever we do with, microcontroller needs to know what are we trying to do with. Microcontroller requires instructions, right? It is a programmable. So you can go ahead and give an instruction to it. And based on that instructions, it is going to work out. So when I say that it needs an instructions out here, it's also very important that uh, we give a precise things as it is expecting it to, as it is understanding it. So we have a syntax, we have a way of writing the program for Arduino. Uh, we'll be learning them one by one. You will also be mastering that in upcoming sessions. So we'll let us go ahead. If the microcontroller does not have any instructions into it, trust me, it's a dummy board. It can do nothing. Only if you have instructions into that thing, then only it can do it. So very first thing, once we are set up with the hardware, go ahead and start programming it, and then you should see the results. Now, this particular thing is sorted out because I'm going to use an inbuilt LED itself. So I'm not really worried about any connections for now. Let's go ahead and with the programming out here. So how do we do a programming? So we have a code here, right? We have a code here where we can go ahead and do the coding. So this particular uh, Tinkercad gives you two ways of doing the two programming out here. One, you can go ahead and use the uh, built-in blocks and collect, connect these blocks without writing a single code. And that should, uh, that should work. Or you can also go ahead and choose blocks plus text both together when that should work perfectly fine. And we can also go ahead with the text where you can just write the program all by yourself and that should also work perfectly fine. For today, I'll not take you to the text. We'll keep it simple for the first thing. Uh, we'll keep it to the blocks and let us go ahead with this. I'll tell you like what's the logic happening so that you get to know that. So on start, what I'm doing, so on start, that is like when it starts, then we have a forever loop. So what is a forever? Like forever is going to happen, all right? On start, I'm doing nothing. When it starts, it's not, there is nothing much to be done. I just want this forever loop to run forever. So what is happening here? I'm making the set built-in LED to high, all right? I'm making the built-in LED to high. And remember, built-in LED is nothing but this pen or pin number 13. How much time I want to keep it high? For one second, that is on for one second. Then again, build an LED, LED to low for one second. So what I'm doing, I'm turning it on for one second, turning it off for one second. Now this is kept in a forever loop, which means that it's going to continuously keep going ever and ever, which will form a blink application, right? It'll keep on blinking. Let us do it. So it's time for the test. So click on the start simulation and you should start seeing that thing. So when you go here and uh, you see this, it goes high, low, high, low, high and low based on the program what we have given for this. And while I'm done with simulation right now, simulation is running, you can see this, it says stop simulation, which means that simulation is in process. And you can also see that a simulator time here running which says that simulation is running so this time i cannot really do any modifications and it would not really work when i start doing modifications the simulation stops so always better follow the sim stop the simulation and then start doing something okay now let us say that i want to make it faster currently it is taking one second time to turn on like one second it is on one second it is off one second it is on one second it is off right now so what i can do is i can go ahead and change this to milliseconds and also here to milliseconds. Now, what is a millisecond? Millisecond is one by like thousandth of a second. Okay. So, all right. Every 500 millisecond, that is every half a second. Okay. Every 500 millisecond, I want to turn it on, turn it off. Once uh, 500 millisecond is nothing but half a second. Uh, let us start the simulation now and then see what happens. Uh, you see this? It's a bit quick. All right. It's a bit quicker. All right, great. We're getting this thing being done. So we are finally like got to know like what exactly is an Arduino. How can we go ahead with it? And uh, how what are the different ways I can program it on this particular uh, tool that is Tinkercad? And we choose a block. And what is in the block? You just saw it, right? And we also change the quick timings into it. Now I'll stop the simulation here now.
and uh, everything should be perfectly normal.